You busy, Arthur? Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Hmm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No. Has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Shut your gopher noodle. 
Gone for ten minutes, I was. You can only get gone an hour day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump him, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Want the money or not? Come on. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. Yeah. Never learn. And Bill ain't much 
better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, there's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. Another bank, Miss Jones. Been a while. Hey, Arthur. Remember that bank in Tucson? All them years ago? You, me, and Javier? <laughs> of course, how can I forget? <laughs> the nun. Thou shalt not steal a habit from the local convent. Whose idea was that? I forget. I just know the guards were searching everyone on the way in for guns. Except for sweet sister Karen. Two shotguns and a pistol you had under your skirt. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even walk. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Passing you. Okay. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Where is he? Where is he? Have you seen him? 
Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gone real dead. Like you don't know me. All stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Stay where it Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, oh you think we're here for fun? No. Oh, come on. Oh. 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 Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Hurry up. Too goddamn slow! Shut up, a bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Okay. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. Uh -huh. Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <gasps> now you shut the hell up and be still. I'll go check the front. Fast as I can. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well. I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you, insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep, this is Downs. Yep. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world.
Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. I'm thinking when this is done, you can fill me in on the goings-on around here. Oh, yes, sir. Assuredly. All right, then. Well, it's just, uh... <laughs> I'm the curious kind. Come on, girl. If you do me this kindness, sir, I shall not forget it.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <laughs> have you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Come on, girl. By me, I'm grazer on the hunt. No, no. Quit telling me, man. Off to? I got enough problems. 
family business coming through you're good You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Bo, you know that. Do something, please. Now, what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, here, sir. They need now. protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Sure. <laughs> Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, 
Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the now. water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Well, what? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters 
I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Let's go, girl.